Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy, and I'm joined, as always, by the Minecraft versions of my real-life dogs, Paige and Molly. Paige in her little corner. Uh, Molly snuck off downstairs. And here's Milk Toast. Milk Toast, get out from, uh, get out from the rain. It's terrible that it's raining today, because today uh, is a very exciting day on Dogcraft. We are going to start a new build. It's been a while since we built something, and today we are starting... A massive build. I mean, think in terms of like bark, quonset, big build. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but first, we need to do what we always do and grab two of our carob chip cookies and head up to the Dalmatian plantation to breed another Dalmatian. We are trying to get 101 Dalmatians, so I've been breeding up a storm. I'm trying to breed 99 Dalmatians. As you can see, these guys can't even move anymore. Uh, we're, we're nearly there. <laughs> we are on, uh, Dalmatian number, please move, uh, 92, which is going to be Lily. And that is because Lily sent me this photo on Twitter, and she made my apartment in Dogcraft, my Birchwood apartment, uh, out of, it looks like maybe a piece of styrofoam, which really reminded me of things that I used to do when I was younger, uh, take leftover bits and bobs and turn them into something that I love and I thought that this was really imaginative of her and it, it probably took a lot of time and ink uh, so I was very grateful to get that so thank you very much Lily and welcome to the Dalmatian plantation I need to find Pongo and Perdita uh, Pongo has a red collar and Perdita has a light blue collar as in the Disney movie ha uh, I don't think I saw them over here they must be oh there's Pongo Here's Pongo. Is Perdita? Oh, I think I saw Perdita. Here's Perdita. There we go. There we go. And they are going to make little puppy Lily. Hi, welcome. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. We've got to, uh, we've got to get the wolves uh, and deal with Madeline. Uh, but I need to stop in the art gallery first and take a look at all the art. That, oh, you know what? I should sleep first because this rain is, uh, is seriously bumming me out. Will it let me sleep? Is it not a thunderstorm? No, it's not a thunderstorm. Oh. All right. So it's going to be a rainy day on Dogcraft. That's a fine dog craft. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the art we've received since the last episode. Episode 115 was titled The Pigman's Gold. I discovered that my wolves hatched this plan to go through the nether portal and get gold from the pigmen to give to me to give to Madeline. Look at this awesome picture of them in the nether with their map fighting aghast. Uh, here's where we found the pigment's castle. And that gas shot me. That was so cool. Uh, this is Avarist, uh, Addison and Everest. This is Madeline saying you still owe me 100 gold. Here is a picture of what I'm going to do today, which is pay her. This is Madeline and Dr. Nine Healer. And this one made me laugh. It's Dr. Nine Healer cleaning but locking herself in the cage. And then, of course, me killing pigs. All right. I have so many supplies that I need to get from my supply room in this episode that I made a list. Uh, so let me see here. Is there actually, first of all, I wanted to grab this too because we might be able to repair this. Uh, well, first of all, I have 60 gold blocks. So how many ingots does that translate? Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? I, what? Wait a minute. I was under the impression that I was still going to have to get some gold from the wolves packs. Oh my goodness. We are rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Um, but actually, I only have 11 levels. I was going to try to repair my lucky pickaxe. What in the world? Uh, so we only need, in order to pay back Madeline, uh, that's 100 gold right there. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, let me go ahead and actually start smelting that. Uh, and then... Oh, my anvil broke. That's okay. We can stop by um, on the way to where we're going to be building. Do I need... I want to empty out my inventory as much as I can. Although, I feel like I might need bone meal for something. So, let's bring this. Uh, but let's get rid of our leads. Uh, we'll get rid of... I don't know how much gold it's going to take to repair the anvil. 
have to have a bucket of milk on me, obviously. Okay, so I need, I need so much. I need jungle wood, which I don't think I have, but I should have some jungle saplings. Um, jungle saplings. Um, I also need glass. I need so much glass. I'm going to bring all of this. And then I need clay. Oh, I need crafting clay too. So I'm going to grab all this too. <gasps> Should have brought my hiking bag. Or you know what? Let's pick a wolf now. And then I will load up a wolf. Uh, I don't know what happened. This is birchwood planks. I'm not sure what happened to my backpack key. I still have my dog skill tracker. Uh, hi guys. Hello. So you guys, I think, still have uh, a little bit of gold. Uh, no, 13 gold ore. Uh, basil, 9 gold ore. You've still got a lot of gold blocks, Noah. Everest and, of course, Wink. Uh, okay, who should I bring with me today? Actually, I am going to bring Basil because we're going to go back to Madeline and I feel like you would be the best dog to kind of, you know you know make her a little a little nice to me since it is uh basil's barkery that she's uh you know managing uh okay so give me your gold i'm gonna put that in here and then basil you are going to carry some of our supplies um yes you are let's oh i picked the dog with the smallest backpack <laughs> that's okay here you carry our crafting clay our bones uh, this clay here, I guess that's all you can take. Uh, I want to grab, I want to also grab, I'm going to need a couple furnaces. So let's just make a couple. We'll make two furnaces. Uh, and then I'm also going to need uh, a crafting table. Why don't I just borrow this one, uh, Basil? And then let's put this cobblestone away. Because uh, I don't think I need any more of that. I will need some coal, though. Let's take this coal. Uh, okay, let me look at my list. Uh, jungle tree, clay, crafting clay. Oh, I need some chests, probably. Uh, when we get there, I'll probably need some chests. Where's the building odds and ends? Here it is. I probably, yep, I have eight chests. Let's grab that. Uh, I want to grab some item frames, probably. Uh, I don't know. You know, I haven't thought about what kind of doors I'm going to do yet. Probably iron. Uh, but, you know, we can just leave the doors off for now. Glass, sand, oh, dye. I need cyan dye. Uh, oh, I have more clay here. And I'll take the cactus green, too. Or wait, I think I need lapis, too, to combine with that cactus green uh, for cyan. Do I have everything else that I possibly need? Basil. Oh, I had two crafting tables in here, uh, by the way. Um... I need a dog dish, but we can go and grab that from the bark. Let's go, Basil. You want to take the dog door or the people door? Basil's going to take the dog door. Uh, all right, let's go, Basil, and see if it's still raining. I do have my sleeping bag on me, though, so I can uh, I can sleep um, if I need to. All right, come on, Basil. Let's go. Oh, is it? I think the sun is setting, too. Uh, so that's handy. Oh, yeah, it's so nighttime. It is so nighttime, guys. I'm just going to sleep here in the bark uh, and hope that no one minds. Uh, okay. Put down my sleeping bag right here and go to sleep. I don't think I've even told you guys what we're building yet, which is kind of crazy. And you probably wouldn't be able to guess from these materials. Hi. Hi, dog guard. What? Okay. What are, you, what are you so excited about, dog guard? Uh, all right. Oh, yay, the rain went away. All right, let's see how much it's going to take to repair Stacy's lucky pickaxe. If I put in, let's say I put in 16 gold, 39 levels would repair it to brand new. What about oh, 39 levels? Uh, 31 levels even just with one? <gasps> oh, my goodness. All right, so we're going to have to get 39 levels in order to get our silk touch pickaxe back to a place where we could use it. I'm gonna grab, oh, baby zombie, why? I heard a baby zombie. It must be over by Madeline. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and grab, uh, we've got more cyan dye. Let's grab uh, a leash, actually. Uh, and let's also grab one of these bowls. 
And I think that that's all I need from here. Uh, let's go pay Madeline. Let's go and let's see. Is there a baby zombie over here? Huh. I don't, oh, hello, baby zombie. I think you're going to have to die. You're no Felicity. Um, Basil? Where did Basil go? Basil, come here. Take care of this. Come here, Basil. I'm going to tap the baby zombie. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. One tap was all it took. Basil. Basil. Yeah, feel free, Basil. Okay, there we go. I got him. All right. Madeline. Hello. How are you? How's croissant? How's your hand? Charlie apologizes again. Uh, listen, I did it, Madeline. Don't even ask me how I did it. Like, literally, don't ask me how. Uh, but I have 100 gold ingots for you. What do you think about that? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, we're even now. You can't... No, that was pain and suffering as well, Madeline. Uh, oh, you're full of biscuits. Been baking, I see. Uh, I will just leave them in here for you. Oh, not that one. I don't want to give her extra. Uh, there you go, Madeline. Uh, pleasure doing business with you. Oh, you as well, Madeline. You as well. Uh, all right, let's go ahead, Basil, and come over here. I need to tell people what we're building. I've built it up long enough. <laughs> built it up. <laughs> uh, okay, so as you may know, as soon as we reach 101 Dalmatians, we are going on a great giant dog rescuing expedition uh, to the far corners of the world of Dograft. I'm really excited because I think we're going to discover biomes that we have never seen before, Basil. Uh, so it's going to be... It's going to be a bunch of episodes out on the road. Uh, and the reason that we're doing that is because we have added 18 new types of dogs to the world of Dogcraft. Uh, you've seen other mods that have like 8 types of dogs or 10 types of dogs. No, no, no. We've got 18 types of dogs in addition to the 8 that we already had. So really there's only 16 that we haven't found yet because we got a Pitbull and we also got a Papillon. But we're going to go and see if we can get some more. Uh, but it got me to thinking... So, in the bark, the dog guard watches the dogs that are in the bark. Dr. Nine Healer watches any dogs that are in the hound hospital. Madeline watches croissant. The cats pretty much can take care of themselves like cats do. Uh, Doug watches over Paige's kids, the squickens. Well, the squickens are the squickens, and all the animals in the Quonset do their thing. But what happens to Paige and Molly? I totally didn't even think about this. I'm not going to bring Paige and Molly with me, obviously. Uh, so I have to do what I do when I leave and go on a trip in real life. Now, now, since I've moved houses in real life, my mom watches Paige and Molly and they love her. However, uh, before that, before I moved here, when I lived in Los Angeles and when I lived in Washington, D.C., I used to take my dogs to the fanciest of fanciest dog hotels. <laughs> and that is what we're going to be building today. You guessed it, a dog hotel. A lot of you guys actually requested that I build a dog hotel. Uh, and that's what we're going to do uh, right over here, Basil. And it's going to be kind of a process. We're not going to get it. We're going to get it started today because basically it's going to start here, uh, but then it's going to extend uh, here, which means that I am going to have to uh, shovel all of this dirt. I wish that the wolves could help me uh, because it's going to need to extend pretty much all the way back here. It's going to be a really big build because what I want to do, I don't want to give too much away just yet, but there's going to be uh, like a big, uh, like a lobby area, which is what we're going to build today, uh, Basil. Now, the lobbies in some of the hotels that they've stayed in, let me put up a picture of some of the dog hotels that they've stayed in. Like, this is the lobby. It is fancy. There's a guest check-in. Sometimes, like, there used to be, like, a little water fountain for the dogs. Uh, automatic doors. Uh, oh, automatic doors. Yes, we'll definitely have to use pressure plates then uh, because that is, or maybe I could do some kind of redstone-y type. Hmm... That's got me thinking, Basil. I wonder if I could do some kind of doors on pistons. Huh. I am going to think about that.
Uh, but anyway, we're going to build a grand lobby with a gift shop. Uh, and then that's going to be what you go into right at first. And then you're going to go into kind of like an open area uh, dog park where they do their business uh, during the day. And then you're going to go into the individual private rooms uh, that a lot of the dog hotels that I've seen. Paige and Molly have stayed in some very fancy dog hotels uh, and they have individual rooms. So we're going to get to that. But today we are only going to get to the actual actual uh, beginning of things and the lobby and hopefully the gift shop basil so I'm gonna start my like little building routine of putting down like my little area here and our furnaces here and here whoops there we go let's go ahead and get uh, sand going and then let's also, is this bothering anyone else that the bed is not like this? Just me? Just me, maybe? <laughs> uh, oh, crafting table. Totally forgot uh, crafting table, which we are going to need as well. All right, so now we kind of have like our little build thing going. Uh, we're going to use glass a lot. I will show you the materials we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use, oh, I'll do like a little inspiration board over here, Basil. So we're going to use clay. Uh, let's grab that. Let's harden just one of them, actually. Uh, we're going to use clay as the floor, Basil. There you go. And then we're also going to use hardened clay uh, combined with, oh, I think I need to have a bunch of hardened clay around here. Otherwise it'll be a waste of cyan dye. Uh, yes. Uh, let's go do that. And let's plant, uh, a jungle sapling. I've never planted a jungle sapling. I don't think. Can you just plant it? Like, is it just one or do you have to plant four in a row? Cause they're so big. Nope. It's just one. Oh, look, that's a little jungle tree. Wait a minute. Didn't I have jungle trees when I first... Like when I first, first, first came to Dogcraft and I was growing cocoa beans. I don't even remember basil. Uh, okay, so it's not going to be the uh, wood. It's going to be the planks like that. We are going to use that in our color scheme as well. Uh, so let's throw that down there. And then I want to actually come down here by my nether portal. Uh, that was crazy in the last episode, Basil. Uh, don't have any bright ideas like that again. Uh, and I'm going to come. I saw when I was uh, down here before, I saw I had a lot of clay that I had no idea that I had, which is kind of why I decided to use uh, clay and hardened clay. I'm still uh, thinking that I'm going to have to go and dig a lot more. Uh, but this is quite a bit of clay, honestly. Uh, let's bring this pickaxe too, just because mine looks like it's about to break. Oh, sand as well. Um, oh, let's grab. Oh, bricks. Darn, I wish I hadn't made those into bricks because I don't really need bricks. I need uh, the clay. I don't think you can reverse it, Basil. I'm just seeing if I have any. Oh, another stack of. Oh, so many bricks. <gasps> 16 hardened clay, Basil. 16 hardened clay. That's exciting because I think that we are really going to be hurting for clay. Uh, with how big I think that this build is going to be. I like the look of clay because it kind of reminds me of like a concrete floor, uh, which is typical in a lot of these dog hotels. They're not going to put down like fancy wood floors because uh, the dogs are always coming in. All right, Basil, you will teleport to me. Let's come out and let's go ahead and make... Ooh, I need to eat. Let's make some cyan dyed clay. So around like this, it's sad that I don't have a mesa that I can go to to get hardened clay. Um, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there aren't any mesas in this world actually because it's on 1.6.4 and I can't update it. Uh, however, uh, I do think that in the extra biomes there is some kind of mesa uh, that I haven't discovered yet. All right, let's go ahead and we've got to put some more stuff here in our chest. Dye and item frames and, uh, oh, Basil's got the crafting clay. That's right. Jungle saplings, biscuits, dirt. Well, all right, that's good. It's already getting dark again, Basil. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. And then in the morning, we will actually start the build itself. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just going to kind of wing it, Basil, and we know how good that works out for us in the past. 
Uh, let's go ahead and, well, here, I can just show you kind of like my little vision board, Basil. Uh, did I put the glass in here? Yes. So, Basil, can you get with this vision? This is kind of like, this is sort of the, this is sort of the vision, the color scheme, the palette, if you will, is right here. It's going to be cool. It's going to be very modern, actually, because a lot of the dog hotels uh, are modern. So I'm just going to make all of these into clay, really, because we're using it for the floor and for some of the walls. But like I said, a lot of the walls will be glass. Look at that. All that clay only made a stack and a half of clay. Uh-oh, we're in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. Let's go ahead and start uh, smelting that into hardened clay. I also want to go ahead. This is really minor, but I do want to make this bowl uh, blue. So let's go ahead and make it blue. There we go. Uh, okay, so this is going to be where the doors are. So do I even have, I don't even have a shovel on me. And the only stick I have is the skill tracker. I really did not think this through. Let's make... I can't make a, I can't make a, a wood shovel. I'm going to have to grab, uh, some, some stone from here and then use some of my jungle planks, sadly, to make sticks. There we go. Okay. And we will make ourselves two shovels and let's also grow ourselves a couple more saplings. Although I don't think I need, I don't need too much, uh, jungle wood. Uh, but actually, since I have no jungle wood, this would be a good opportunity, right, Basil? Oh, hi, Stampy. Uh, hey, actually, Stampy, why don't you uh, sit up and you can kind of protect me from creepers, huh? Uh, this would be a good opportunity to um, to get some jungle wood. All right, so let's go ahead and shovel out this base here. Uh, I have no idea how big this is going to be. This is going to be uh, the regular clay when you walk in. Four. Let's see. A lobby. It's gonna need to at least be. Hmm. Three, four, five, six. It's gonna need to be probably at least this big, I would think. Uh, cause we're gonna need to have a counter. Oh, bigger, I think. Bigger, bigger. Let's go bigger. It's gonna be an epic dog hotel, guys. So that's going to be the inside of the building. Now, I guess, is this how big? Yeah, I guess this is how big it will be. Then there will be a wall here as well. But that's not going to be the end of the building. We're going to break all this out. Uh, and the building will continue kind of like in a straight line, like following this pathway, like straight through. Um, is that big enough? Uh, I hope that's big enough. You know what? If it's not big enough, I can always just move this pathway down here, can't I? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and grab... What are you excited about, Basil? Jumping on my sleeping bag. Let's grab the hardened clay. Oh, gosh. Are we, like, really already out of clay, guys? This was nothing. How am I... How am I ever going to do this? This is crazy. Oh, no. We're like already out of clay. Oh, wait, 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 w
Didn't I give you clay? Hazel, come here. Hazel, Hazel, stop. Hazel, stop. <gasps> yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. It's not much, but it's a little bit more. So that's good. It's a stack. Oh my gosh, Basil, you scared me. I was like, where'd that, where that wolf come from over there? Uh, all right. Throw out this piece of gold because apparently we're rich now uh, and we don't need it. Grab that and that. All right. That gave us snoops, snoops, snoops. It gave us a little bit more. So let's throw that in there and harden it. Uh, and then we can start work on our little gift shop wall. So I don't know if you've ever been to a dog hotel, but a lot of them have these gift shops in them. And I thought it would be fun. I've always wanted to do like a store in dog craft, but I really just don't have enough like things that you have to buy. Oh, you know, I want to do like a dog food store though, but not like, um, not like a general supply store. I thought that this would be better just to do kind of like a cute little boutique. Uh, Basil, can you move, please? There we go. All right, let's throw that up there. I want to craft some stuff. Ooh. Basil, is that you? Are you hungry? You are hungry. <gasps> I bet that means all the wolves are going to start teleporting to me. Probably. Let's go ahead and sleep. Yeah, it's been, you can only sleep at night. Well, <laughs> the sun's gone, uh, to be fair. All right, let's go ahead and make, let's merchandise the shop that's what I really want to do so I'm gonna make some shelves which I have written down here is all right that should be for shelves there we go through some crafting clay and now can I sleep please thank you all right so I'm going to add a row of shelves uh, and that's what I'm going to kind of put the toys on uh, and then I also am gonna make like some dog houses too I think if I put them there yep that's good there and there and let's put the last one there we probably should make one more shelf uh, really quickly there we go and then I need to make oh is that true do I only have four more blue Oh, I think I can make uh, I can make more crafting clay though, uh, because I want to make some I want to make some dog houses. Go, uh, dog house big, and I don't think I've ever made the small one, uh, and I think I have just enough blue for it. Green up there and there, and then red. Uh, here and here. Oh, a little tiny doghouse. It would be like for Charlie. Oh, that'd be so cute. Let's put one there. Uh, and then let's also put one uh, there. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, so these are things that you can like purchase, right? So you would also purchase like a dog dish. So let's put that there. Uh, and then let's grab, you know what? We kind of need to put some torches up too. Uh, let's put a torch there and a torch there and then let's also make hmm do I need to make more crafting clay I do need to make some blue crafting clay which I think I can because I have sand and I have dirt and I have stampy do you mind uh, I have lapis am I messing this recipe up it's been a while since I made crafting clay no that's totally it uh, I just made 32 all right, so I'm going to make some stuffed animals. I'm going to do a pig, of course. There we go. There's the little pig. And, oh, no, am I going to have to get red for... Yes, I need red. Oh, boy, I need a red, I need a red flower, guys. There should be one. I've not yet really been up here in Dogcraft, like exploring it in terms of... I come up here when I went to look at the corn maze. Um, there's got to be a red flower around here somewhere. There's a yellow one. Here's our corn maze over here. Oh, I see red flowers down there. Are there really not any up here? Like close by? Are you serious? Oh, you know what? I should just bone meal the grass, eh? Uh, let's just do that. <laughs> red flower. Red flower. Whoa! Okay, we got a red flower, but we also got... I didn't know this, Basil! I don't think I ever knew that you could get 
extra biomes, flowers, lavender. <gasps> Besides being valued for its vibrant colors, but also its fa fragrant scent, this flower can be crafted into purple dye. Are you serious? What in the world? Hey, did you know this? I didn't even know that. We just learned something new about our mods. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make really quickly some uh, red rose. And then we can put in sand and dirt and make some red crafting dye. And then I can make a stuffed animal. I was trying to remember if I've ever made this stuffed animal. Is it in the wolves or in the playroom? I can't even remember. It's a bunny and it kind of looks like Nilla. <laughs> there it is, the stuffed bunny. <gasps> Look at that. All right, let's merchandise these shelves, guys. I'm going to put the stuffed bunny right up here. Here, that's adorable. I'm gonna put the stuffed pig. I think I'm gonna put the stuffed pig kind of on an angle. Like um, if I jump and put it like that. There we go, stuffed pig. Uh, and then I can also put, let's get our item frames, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do a leash and a dog biscuit uh, in an item frame somewhere. Let's see here. Actually, I might knock out this shelf. Whoa. I didn't even have to hit it very much. I just had to hit it once and it fell. And now I can't pick it up, which is odd. Oh, probably because my inventory is full. Uh, let's see here. So leash and dog biscuit. Uh, I'm going to mess around with that. I don't know if I like that. And I think I need some windows too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this around. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress. I went and got some more clay and I raised the walls and added in some windows. All the dogs are here now. Uh, I think it's looking really good. I want you to tell me what you think about it. I went ahead and added some more things like a barrel of biscuits and some collars, uh, but I'm gonna need a lot more clay. We're gonna do that in the next episode. So until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. <laughs>